This is the new supermarket located in Nine Mile outside Port Mosby. Property owner Mac Lawai says a flood drainage system that will be built in the area will destroy part of the supermarket. He says this is not a vacant land. But it's not a vacant land. I own that title. But in GDC, you are using the portion 1398. But this is not a vacant land. It's not portion 1398. It's portion 4562. This supermarket was built in Nine Mile when there was nothing. There is development for the people. We are bringing service to the people. This, we are not saying that flood management is something that we shouldn't be doing. Yes, it's an adjunct to everybody, but we must do it the right way. According to engineer Livingstone Hosea, the drainage system will be built 11 meters away from the supermarket. However, they have identified a design problem. The engineer says if the drainage system is to be built on the building, over five columns of the supermarket will be destroyed. This will cost over one million kina. I would like to think that there is a design problem that when they were designing, you decided to run the drain on the building. When we run the drain on the building, this is what will happen. We are running six meters into the rear end of the building. It will take away five columns of the building and one into the interior column. And it will amount to about a million bucks to rebuild this and the cost that is amounted. The engineer highlighted the need for a better survey and planning, and that is to develop a better flood drainage system without affecting private properties of citizens. He says engineers must have moral ethics and common sense. So it questions our morality as engineers, designers, surveyors, town planners. Do we have moral standing? Where is our engineering due diligence? Can we respect the hard work of our fellow Papua New Guineans who are trying very best to develop places like this which nobody wanted to come to? The engineer is calling on the NCD Physical Planning Board for a roundtable discussion to find a way forward. He says there is no need to waste taxpayers' money on unnecessary court battles. We have proposed certain options that NCDC and the design team can look at so that we find an amicable solution without a very long court battle that will take drag both of us into it. We propose that the drain be established where it's supposed to be, an ID survey be conducted, and a design team to review their design and see where this drain should actually sit down. Lawyer Sam Kati says though it is part of development, people's livelihood must be considered. It's likely that we are going to go back to the board, get restraining orders if possible, uh, and if necessary. And then uh, we are willing to stop this, but we understand that Hodun definitely talk about the development has to go on and all this much. But then, what about the registered provider's rights, Mr. Lawyer's rights, over this problem? Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.